in foul trouble as well. Yeah. 11 blocks she came up with. Taylor George fouled as well by Park. Start getting some production. Start putting the ball in the basket. Yoon feet set. Bam. She heard you. No, we not talk about the shot blocking of uh, Park Ji Su, but Mariana. Ooh. Rochi over to Steph Talbot. She might just, just got to. Ooh. Quick comes pass, batted, but Wallace alertly picks it up, and Tolo tries to go up, blitz out, back outside, Magin. And George with the rebound, gets it back to Wallace. And the three-pointer is good from Shiloh Hill. Think basketball school in Texas. Really good. Bounce pass to Talbot goes in. Boy, that was a beautiful bounce pass. Um, not many. You guys usually left it pretty late. Oh, <laughs> nice drive. They outscored Australia 14 to 21. 21 to 14, sorry. They outscored Australia. WNBL. Season's on a pause. Nice. Three pointer. The same effort and to just stay focused the entire time. Park just kind of uh, stumbles as she makes contact, but let's dip in and get it. He hits a three, but it's not a disaster. Yeah. Checking in for Steph Talbert in the third, but that's her first basket of this tournament for her. Jin, oh, hooping and scooping and getting fouled by Lana Smith. Team points now for Jin. We saw her exit with a little bit of a knee scare, I believe. But nope, she's back in. She said, Coach, I'm good to go. Put me back in. Park hit a three. I mean, this second half, it's been all about uh, the Korea, Korea hustle. And three point shot is good. And a pass down low, and a nice reverse layup made by George. And attempt one more shot if they want, or they can just hold on to it, and they will. That's it. And the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup Qualifying Tournament is, has ended for Australia and Korea. Good eye, mate. They're coming home. So here we are, congratulations to Korea, we knew